How to make salmon chowder easily. Start with a quarter pound of Tillamook unsalted butter. I love Tillamook and use it unsalted because I can control how much salt is in it later. Let it melt slow, just on a real nice low heat. Here I'm going to come in with one and a half pounds of salmon that I've deboned, taken the skin off and put it into small chunks. I'm going to move it around, let it simmer a little bit in that pan. I'm showing you how to make one pot salmon chowder easily. You'll see how this salmon chowder is reminiscent of an Irish seafood chowder recipe. It's much better than what you would find in Seattle at Pike Place Market. I'm just going to continue to move the uh, salmon around, try to make sure it doesn't stick. Let it cook on a low heat. It's going to be rare in the center, cooked on the outside. Now I'm going to come in here with two tablespoons of chopped garlic. Get all of that garlic out of there. Get it in the pan. Let it simmer to a nice medium low temperature. We're looking for a slight saute of the garlic, but not brown. The butter, salmon, and garlic smell amazing. Watch to the end of this video to see my special announcement. I do have a question for you. Now, before we continue, I want you to know you're amazing, beautiful, and intelligent. You can accomplish amazing things. Here we come in with one cup of clam juice. You can use a chicken stock if you want. Uh, I like to use the clam juice because it adds a nice seafood flavor without being too much like a clam flavor to it. Next, I'm going to come in with one and a half pounds of red potatoes that I've cleaned and cut into small cubes that are about a half inch. Huh, here's the rest of the one and a half pounds. Couldn't fit them in that last container. I'm going to spread it out. Just going to make sure that it uh, when I add the next uh, part here, the uh, water, it's going to be flat in the uh, pan and the water will cover it. I have eight cups in this uh, jar, but I'm just adding enough just to come to the top of those potatoes. Hey, let's go ahead and add in two cups of celery, cleaned and sliced. Next, we'll come in with two cups of shredded carrots. Just gonna go ahead and get that all in there. I'm gonna spread it out and mix it in. The broth is going to, is a little bit warm at the moment. The potatoes are raw. Those vegetables are raw. I got to cook them. So what I'm doing to do now is going to bring the, all the pieces of salmon to the top so that it's not cooking at a temperature along with the rest of the, oh, and you see there, I lost a little bit of video, but Hey, that's okay. We're going to uh, move on. What do we have in there? One and a half tablespoons of black pepper, one tablespoon of salt, four tablespoons of sugar, and the juice of two limes or about a quarter cup. That's what was thrown in before that video cut out. Now we'll let that uh, rest for a little bit, but let's jump forward. I'm gonna move ahead about five minutes while that's been simmering. Oh, you can see that simmering really nice. That salmon's up on top, not cooking too much. I'm gonna stir that up a little bit, get those potatoes moving around uh, from this point on. We're gonna come back and we're gonna stir it a couple of times, but please like and subscribe to my video to help me make more videos. Now, back to the chowder. Here it is, moving along, simmering really nice. We'll go ahead and we'll stir it a couple more times. Um, I have been stirring this throughout. The video is sped up, so you don't see all the times I've done this and I've kind of cut through, but all I'm gonna do now is come in and actually look for some of that salmon and I'm pressing in there trying to find all the pieces so I can smash them up, turn them into more of a shredded uh, piece of salmon. And if I got a few chunks, some, some shreds, it's okay. Next, let's go ahead and come in with three cups of corn. Just gonna mix that in. Every step of the way, I'm adding new ingredients according to how fast they cook and what flavors they're gonna add to the chowder as we go. That was three tablespoons of dill, two cups of heavy cream. We're just gonna let that continue to simmer. Here's my question for you. I'm always looking to make what you want to see. Comment below to let me know what you want me to make next. I will then let you know if I can make it and when it'll be in production. Okay, what do we have? The butter, the garlic, the cream, salmon, corn, potatoes, and carrots, sugar, clam juice, a little lime juice, salt, pepper, some sugar, and dill. 
That is just beautiful how it fills that bowl up. Look at all those spices. Let's give this a try. It's looking great. Oh, that is delicious. Yes. Hey, thank you for watching.